It's the second oldest auto race in the United States, second only to the Indianapolis 500. But what sets the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb apart is location, location, location. Set in Colorado's breathtaking Continental Divide, the race winds its way up 163 turns to Pikes Peak. It rises 14,110 feet. In 1806, Zebulon Montgomery Pike discovered this mountain that bears his name, and at the time, he claimed the summit would never be scaled. Will the mark fall for the fourth time today? Yes! Well, so he was wrong about that. It seems just about anything and everything has been raced to the top of this mountain, from cars, trucks, motorcycles, Indy cars, even semi trucks. There have been marathons run up the mountain and bicycle races run down. This mountain has seen it all. Every year, over 300,000 tourists flock to the Colorado Springs area to make the 19 mile picturesque drive to the summit and enjoy the panoramic view that can make one person feel like they are atop the world. The mountain has earned its tough-as-nails reputation from the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, also known as the Race to the Clouds. This yearly race, held in the summer, brings in racers from all around the world. They race, eat, sleep, and travel in and around the Colorado Springs area. An independent audit estimated the cumulative sales economic impact at over $44 million annually. The race was first run back in 1916, with Ray Lentz winning in a time of 20 minutes, 56.6 seconds. Since then, some of the biggest manufacturers and builders have competed against each other, and some of the biggest names in auto racing have gone head-to-head -head up the Pikes Peak Highway. Pikes Peak to me is... That's your most fantastic thing there. Pikes Peak is still the number one thing in my life. Pikes Peak is a total different place than any other place that, that you ever did around. The tradition. I think that the, the tremendous tradition and all the old unsers, the Uncle Louis, and you know, I mean, the guys that really made that hill. I, I felt that uh, I really accomplished something when, uh, when I won that event, even though, you know, only lasted about seven or 12 minutes. But uh, it was, uh, it was uh, something different, totally different, but uh, very, very special for me. It's a who's who of racing blue bloods like Louis Unser, Phil Hill, Al Unser Sr. and Jr., Bobby Unser, his son Robbie, Rick Mears, Mario Andretti, Nobuhiro Tajima from Japan, Herr Eklund, Michelle Mouton, and Rod Millen. And it's Millen who owns the current overall record at 10 minutes, 4.06 seconds. Generations of Unser's, Boschel's, and Millen's have grown up on the mountain, cut their teeth on the mountain, and competed on the mountain road. What makes me mad is he's got kids convinced that he's the greatest race driver there is, and that uh, kind of makes me kind of unhappy with my own kids. My uncle Robbie is the greatest race driver because he meets my daddy all the time. That's my cousin, Al Unser Jr. He's only five years old, but I think he's pretty smart for his age. My name's Bobby Unser Jr. For the past 12 years, the Race to the Clouds has been televised in the United States and around the world on ESPN, ESPN2, and ESPN International. With the popularity of the race high and multi-airings all year long, millions of people have seen the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb in 56 different countries. The incredible demands that racing up this storied mountain requires has caused it to become a test bed for auto manufacturing performance and safety. The lure and mystique that grabs any race fan has been tapped into by Audi, which unveiled a commercial shot on the tollway in 2002. Pikes Peak. 
where the wind breaks the speed limit, the snowfall breaks the records, and a single company breaks from the status quo. Audi, the only luxury car line with quattro all-wheel drive available on all models. Medium right, don't cut it. The historic and unique aspect of the race to the clouds has been burned into the hearts of racers, fans, and sponsors for over 80 years. This love affair with the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb was equally apparent as the SCCA Pro Rally Cars ran for the first time for manufacturer points in 2002 with 18 cars entered. Now, smitten with Pikes Peak, the entire SCCA Pro Rally field will return and compete for driver points as well. Finish, knock it off. Good luck. Since 1916, the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb has been a successful return on investment for racers, fans, media, sponsors, and area communities. They have all enjoyed the stunning beauty of this land and the thrill of this race up this storied mountain. And they've all enjoyed the benefits of their association with the hill climb. So if you want to race, spectate, advertise, or just be a supporter, then the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb is the place for you.